is all you need. You don't need to have a long conversation. And it's, um, you know, it's a lot more powerful than one might think. And that's part of memory also. You know, I have another colleague that I work with a lot. And uh, we played the same piece, I don't know, maybe about a hundred times together. And I noticed that um, uh, during particularly tumultuous section, in rehearsals, he, he would be on the verge of crying. Right? And I thought, wow. I mean, I really liked it, the piece too, but he was really, <laughs> really moved by it. And um, he kept asking everyone to be more disturbed and more moved by it, whatever, and it sort of kept going, going, going. And then I noticed that, it took me about 70 performances to notice that exactly at the same spot, he was almost crying the same way. Almost crying, we're about to have a stroke, I don't know which one it was, but it was a very extreme reaction, and I thought, I, I knew it was genuine. I, I, he, he was not faking it, and then I realized, that was memory also. Right? It's a pattern that he's constantly developed while rehearsing and practicing. So when we do, um, here we go.